Hello viewers, this is Dr. Said and welcome to this Fractional Differential Equation video series. This is the third lecture of this series. We are using Laplace transform method to solve Fractional Differential Equation. In the previous lecture, I solved the same differential equation but with different initial condition and different differential operator. In the previous uh, lecture, the fractional operator uh, was Riemann Liouville fractional derivative uh, but in this video I am solving the same equation with capital fractional derivative as we know that there are two famous fractional derivative operator being used in fractional calculus one is Riemann Liouville fractional derivative and the other is capital fractional derivative so this differential equation uh, contains uh, capital fractional derivative and its relevant initial condition so now what is uh, capital fractional derivative if, if you just uh, want to take a look it's the capital D uh, from 0 to x of order alpha of some function f of x it is, is the uh, Riemann level fractional integral operator i from same limit 0 to x of order n minus alpha and then nth derivative dn by dn dxn of the function f of x this is the uh, basic definition of capital fractional derivative uh, here the uh, i stands for riemann level fractional integral using that notation this becomes 1 over gamma of n minus alpha and then integral from 0 to x and then x minus t to the power n minus alpha minus 1 and then nth derivative of the function dn by dt of function f of t dt here alpha lies between n and negative n minus 1 so this is the definition of capital fractional derivative which is being used in this differential equation so we're going to use the laplace transform method to solve this differential equation so we need to know the laplace transform of this fractional uh, operator which I had mentioned in the first lecture okay so uh, starting this all this equation we need to apply the uh, Laplace transform on both side of this differential equation so applying Laplace transform on both side this become Laplace transform of uh, capital D from 0 to x of order alpha uh, y of x and then since, since Laplace transform operator is a linear operator so we can substitute it a is being constant put it outside and then Laplace transform of y of x and is equal to Laplace transform of 0 is, is 0 ok now using the definition of Laplace transform of capital fractional derivative this whole thing becomes s to the power alpha and then capital y of s which is the Laplace transform of smother y of x minus summation k from 0 to n minus 1 and then s to the power uh, alpha minus k minus 1 and then uh, kth derivative of the function kth derivative of the function at the point 0 this is the Laplace transform of this capital fractional derivative uh, and then we have the other term a remains as it is and Laplace transform of smaller y of x is capital y of s s is the parameter of Laplace transform okay now since alpha lies between n and n minus 1 and here the alpha lies between 0 and 1 so n is the next integer of alpha since as alpha is between less than 1 so n, n must be here n must be here 1 so if n is 1 uh, this whole thing becomes s to the power alpha y of s minus uh, k from 0 to 0 to n minus 1 because n is 1 so it is becomes just 0 and s alpha minus k minus 1 y kth derivative at the point 0 and plus a of capital y of s is equal to 0 so here you can see that in the infinite series there's only one term k starting from 0 and ending 0 it means just it is the only one term which is k0 so if looking k0 it becomes s to the power alpha y of s minus s to the power alpha minus k which is 0 and minus 1 and uh, y to the uh, 0 order it means just it is y of 0 
n plus a times y of s is equal to 0 okay now uh, in the first term and last term we can take y of s is common so s to the power alpha plus a into y of s and minus s to the power alpha minus 1 and smaller y of x we have given uh, initial condition if you can look at it this is the y of 0 is capital C so just plucking the value of initial condition this becomes capital C is equal to 0 putting it at right side so s to the power alpha plus a into y of s is equal to c time s to the power alpha minus 1 which becomes y of s is equal to c time s to the power alpha minus 1 over s to the power alpha plus a okay now we need to take the inverse laplace transform to get our y of x back so applying inverse laplace transform this becomes and then inverse laplace of capital y of s is just y of x and here c is taken outside as the as inverse laplace transform is again a linear operator and this is inverse laplace of s to the power alpha minus 1 over s to the power alpha plus a okay. now we need to again use the formula which we used last time as well this is the inverse laplace transform of of s to the power alpha minus beta over s to the power alpha plus lambda is equal to x to the power beta minus 1 metag Leffler function of parameter alpha and beta of lambda x to the power alpha so we need to use this formula and we need to compare here uh, you can see that here s to the power alpha minus beta and here s to the power alpha minus 1 so we need to compare these two, two terms alpha minus beta is alpha minus 1 alpha cancels out and here we get beta is equal to 1 and then we need to compare the denominator terms s to the power alpha plus a to s to the power alpha uh, uh, this is actually minus lambda so in this formula this is actually minus lambda so this is not positive this is negative here is negative okay now comparing uh, these two terms we see that the value of lambda is just negative a so putting these values here we see that the lap inverse laplace transform becomes y of x is equal to c time and this becomes since laplace transform this quantity is this one x to the power beta minus 1 and beta we have found 1 so 1 minus 1 and beta left the function of parameter alpha which is same alpha and beta we have it is 1 and then lambda which is minus a x to the power alpha and this can be simplified to y of x is equal to c time my talk left the function of alpha 1 of minus x to the power alpha so this is the solution of given differential equation fractional differential equation that involves the capital fractional derivative the one we had given at the start okay now just to uh, check the solution i can take different values of alpha so let if we have alpha is alpha is 1 what happens to the solution y of x it becomes c x metal as a function alpha is 1 so it's both parameter becomes 1 and then minus a x to the power alpha which is 1 and by using the definition of metal as a function this becomes c remains outside infinite series k from 0 to infinity and minus a x to the power k and the denominator is gamma of since alpha and both 1 it is 1 times k plus 1 
and this becomes c times summation k from 0 to infinity minus a x to the power k and here it becomes gamma k plus 1 which can be written as k factorial and this is the uh, series of exponential function this is e to the power minus a x so for alpha is if alpha is 1 our solution reduces to c into e to the power minus a x okay. and for for alpha is 1 the given differential equation what what that becomes uh, since given differential equation was uh, d 0 to x to the power alpha of y of x and plus 8 times y of x is equal to 0 and y of 0 was constancy and when a is 1 this derivative is just a simple classical first order derivative and for alpha 1 this becomes y prime of x plus a y of x is equal to 0 and we can solve this first order differential equation y prime of x is equal to minus a y of x and dividing by y of x it becomes y prime over y and this is minus a and taking integral or on both side uh, integrating this side and integrating this side this becomes since y uh, have the in the numerator it becomes natural log of y is equal to minus a time our independent variable is x so it is x and plus some constant c1 and if we remove the natural log it becomes y to the power minus x plus c1 which can be done y is equal to e to the power minus a x into e to the power c1 since this is again a constant call it c so this becomes y of x is equal to c time e to the power minus a x and you can see that this is the same solution we obtained from our differential equation for alpha is equal to 1 that matches with our classical results so uh, as we have seen that uh, even if we have a different fractional operator uh, no matter which operator you take the one level fractional operator or a capital fractional derivative laplace transform method can solve both type of differential equation uh, in the next lecture i will solve another dif fractional differential equation uh, but that time uh, uh, the differential equation would consist two terms of fractional derivative thank you for watching